Hello everybody. I finally, I'm almost finished cleaning up this trailer and fixing all the stuff that was wrong with it, but uh, I wanted to kind of make a, this kind of going to be a two-part video. One, kind of showing the trailer itself, what I did to it, what I got it for, uh, some accessories and things that came with it, but also to uh, kind of make it to where if, you know, you guys are looking for buying a used cargo trailer, then you may have some, you know, idea on certain things you might look for. Uh, so, with that being said, this is a 7 by 16 foot cargo craft enclosed cargo trailer. Uh, this was actually ran on Craigslist for $2,800. And I'm the third owner. The first owner owned a flower shop. She hauled the flowers in it. And the second owner owned a piano store and they moved a piano two or three times a year. And that's really the only use it's had. It has not been abused but it was neglected and I'll get into some of the things that I discovered but uh, some of the items that came with it you know it came with three door locks and a tongue lock I don't know the quality of these it came with a boot as well you know but right there about value added you know that's probably forty five dollars worth of locks forty forty five and that's probably forty or forty five dollars for that tongue lock and the boot I found it online it was somewhere around 90 or 100 bucks you know so when you buy a trailer even new you know it's not just the cost of the unit you've got to bolt things on to it so anyway um, a couple of things that were wrong with it is this is the actual dome you know that was in there it must have been hit with something maybe a piece of hail and they kind of taped it up gasket completely gone you know, I picked one of these a replacement up for like fifteen dollars, and then picked up a new seal for like six or seven bucks. Put that in, no problem. Uh, the breakaway battery was bad. This is for the electric brakes. Uh, if you guys don't know about that, uh, if by chance you get totally disconnected from the trailer, uh, it'll pull this pin right here. This battery will fire up, and it'll lock the brakes solid, so the trailer the trailer will come to a stop. So this is something, you know, I think it was about $25 to get a replacement battery. No big deal, but these are just things that, you know, they all add up. Uh, my breakaway cable was broken, and I actually picked up one of these uh, spongy ones or coil ones here because, you know, they have a tendency to drag the ground, and mine only had one strand holding it because uh, they are really long. So this one you would apply, you know, to the vehicle you don't want it to be hooked anywhere in this area you want it to like the bumper or something so if this whole assembly breaks loose this is still attached to the truck uh, the first and when these chains are fully extended this should still be longer than the chains your first line of defense let's say if the ball breaks you cross the chains hopefully it'll come down here and you still maintain a pretty good amount of control and you can massage the brakes with the brake controller and bring it to a uh, bring it to a stop safely uh, you know you don't want this thing shorter if this breaks loose and these things to lock up because it's just gonna hammer the trailer uh, that's my opinion I believe that's how that stuff's supposed to work so this fully extended this should always be longer than than that so you can also test the breakaway battery and test the brakes but when you run this test you always disconnect do not leave that hooked up to your uh, vehicle because uh, it can fry the brake controller from what I gather. So to do that you would disconnect the whip. Simply pull this pin out. They're not easy to pull but they come out. Pull it out. You can walk around your wheels and listen for a light hum or uh, you know start up the vehicle and try to tow the trailer and it should sit firm. And then put your pin back in and you're good to go. So They make charging systems for these where they'll actually charge off the vehicle. I don't have one in it. I don't know if I'm going to add one, but anyway, it was just completely oxidized horribly. You can't see this, but you know, it feels great. You can kind of see the reflection there of the, the house next door. Uh, that's what I use the Harbor Freight polisher for. Like I said, this is a lot of real estate. Uh, this cowling up here, something else you would want to look for on a, uh, you know, a trailer, because some of them are just simply plastic and they will, they will actually be broken or break. This one's actually fiberglass. It looked like it had rust all over it. I mean, I had to wet sand that and then polish it back out. You can't really see it right now because of the, the light situation, but it's nice and glossy and reflective. 
Uh, it's got a side door on it. This is a tandem axle trailer. So there are two sets of axles. There are brakes on both of them. We'll go ahead and take a peek inside. I have to open up that back door. Yeah, I'll go in the other way. Now on the brakes, mine originally weren't working. And I started doing some testing and what I found, the main feed on the brake line uses these scotch locks. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these tap-ins, but I hate these things. They're good for car stereos, that's about it. You know, nothing like on this trailer. So all those got cut out of the braking system. Uh, everything got crimp connectors, heat shrinked. You know, I did all that, but what the problem ended up being was my brake controller was bad in my truck. Uh, coupled with this, you know, so anyway on the wheels I'll kind of show some bearings and maybe a still picture I, I you know I did most of the work but this actual wheel right here had the lug nuts on backwards so the cone was actually facing out and so that was a, a pretty big indicator to me that it wasn't maintained properly uh, if somebody didn't know how to put a wheel on proper so I did have to take all the wheels down and get new valve stems put in them they were all leaking my daughter found that one of them for me bent it and it started leaking so New valve stems, high pressure valve stems, tires are all in good shape, uh, had them balanced. Uh, this is the area here where you would actually lubricate uh, the bearings inside the hub. You would pull this rubber cap off and there's a grease zerk in there and you would pump it and keep pumping until all the nasty grease comes out and you get good grease and then put your cap back on. Uh, when I got into these to inspect the brakes, you know, because I, I, I didn't have the history on the trailer, uh, I found the assembly lube from the factory, and that's it. They have never been lubed past that. Moisture collected, the grease was like rust, you know, so some of the bearings were in pretty bad shape. All of them had some wear, uh, but I'll show some of the bearings. Um, the brakes, original brakes, barely used it all uh, everything looked good in there so they did get a whole, all new uh, bearings front and rear new seals I put on new caps because the other ones were rusted horribly and then new seals here you know that was only about you know 70 bucks or something like that but I did all the labor myself uh, so now it, it works great stops on a dime and I know where it's at you know because it's in my possession now so moving around, just kind of get a shot. Uh, there were some signs, vinyl signs on here. I think you can kind of maybe see where they still are. Uh, I pulled them off, buffed, compounded, polished. I, there's a little ghosting still left. The paint on these things is super, super thin. Uh, so you can, there's not much to work with there. It's not like a, a car, you know, where you've, it's been got two or three coats of paint on it. So anyway, this is a ramp on the back, a tilt down instead of barn doors, which I wanted. I'll go ahead and open it up and take you inside. So like I said, 7 by 16 aside from some scuffs on the floor, you know, you can see this thing literally does look brand new. Uh, there's probably about 25 of these D-rings on the walls. Uh, not a single solitary one of them is actually in a, a stud. They're all just in the wafer board. And, you know, those folks were hauling pianos with this thing. I'm surprised that they even got them to stay put. So anyway, new cap, new seal. Uh, has one 12-volt light in here. Light switch was upside down. It's not now. Light works. Uh, there's many things you can do in here to fit them out. I'm probably going to put some E-Track down the walls, maybe two, and then some vertical E-Track or something to give myself options to, you know, haul whatever I want to haul. So things like that, if you're looking for a used trailer, those are big benefits, you know, because the E-Track is not inexpensive, nor are the fittings to go in it. So, you know, that's just something to consider. Uh, the first person had a bunch of hooks everywhere that were, you know, used to haul plants. 
and flowers and things of that nature. And this thing was just littered with glitter. The second people never even cleaned it out. And I hate glitter. So that's pretty much, you know, the inside of it. I told you I was going to show the boots. That's the boot for it. Don't know, you know, if these are any good or not, if you ask me. Three seconds with a sawzall, that thing's off. Anyway, I bought two proper chucks, chocks for the wheels. These are nice, heavy rubber, uh, one on each side. Got these from Harbor Freight. I believe they're about uh, 15 bucks a piece. I've always used bricks. Now I got something that's proper. But some other things to look for are leaks, signs of water damage. You know, you can look at the ceiling, kind of look at the walls, but if I had to guess, more than likely, based on the other trailers I looked at, your leaks are going to kind of be up in these corners. You know, so look for water damage. If you can get underneath and look up under in that area, go ahead and do that. And that may uh, give you a clearer picture. You know, a lot of the trailers you see, like on Craigslist or something that is used, uh, they're just completely hammered. You know, they were ran five, seven days a week by construction crews, whatnot. Wheels falling off of them. I mean, this thing is a 2005 model. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And, you, know, you can see it's just been, like I said, you know, neglected but not abused. So I think I'm going to insert a clip at some point, you know, showing a picture of the rest and all that business. Uh, but all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. You know, this is, it's been a lot of work, you know, to kind of do it and clean it up. But, you know, I saved a great deal of money and I got an outstanding trailer. Uh, not to mention it's a used one, so I don't have to worry about the first scratch. You know, cosmetics are one thing, you know, uh, physical problems, structural problems, suspension problems, that's then again another. So one thing you can do is, hopefully I can see in here, but yeah, okay. These are the spring shackles here. There are bushings in here, here, here. There's one on either end of the springs, and this is the equalizer. They all have these nylon bushings in there. Uh, but these are wearable parts, you know, so if you're able to look you know at the trailer on the top or the bottom of this if you see you know a gap more than likely those bushings are worn through and probably starting to take out the shackles and whatnot i went ahead and put new ones in mine because you know i just wanted to inspect everything so as i was taking them apart there was a little bit of wear uh, so i put new ones in they were like six dollars for all of them you know and it probably took me a couple hours in labor so, all in all, I'll insert a clip here. I know this is a little bit long, and I'm certainly not giving, you know, tons of information on trailers. Uh, but, you know, check the lights, check whatever you can. You know, this one happened to be busted off. The other one on the other side, the lens was cracked. Picked these up at the local dealer, 10 bucks for both. Wired them in. All the lights work, all the brakes work. Everything works. It's ready to go. Yeah, now you can see that ghosting that says floral right there. That's bugging me. Nobody else sees it but me. I cannot not see it now. Every time I look at it, that's all I see. Nobody else notices it. So I'm going to have to come up with something out there that says, you know, hazmat or radioactive. Something to keep people out of it. Okay, well here's a quick shot. This is actually the worst bearing race that was in it. I'm trying to get the light just right. Hopefully you can pick up those those lines. I mean, just look how pitted and nasty this thing is. And the actual bearing itself. You can see all the rust in between them. This thing can't even hardly spin it. You know, this is just neglect. So you can see her here. It's just horrible. 
and this would actually be one of the best ones in it and technically this one wasn't bad it was showing a little bit of wear I don't think you can see it there's a little bit of wear in there but where it had been sitting still there's vertical lines in the race where it started you know corroding in there because of a lack of lube and too much moisture so this is more along the lines of what a bearing should be like you know right now I can't feel those indentions and they're small but if I had both hands and pressed them together and rolled it back and forth, yeah now I can feel them feel them in there so it got all new bearings and races you know, I shouldn't have had to have done that no more than the life has been used on the trailer, but, you know, hey, that's, that's what it was, so. You know, this is not really detailed, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to show what I was working on and maybe give some ideas on somebody trying to, you know, look for a used trailer. I, uh, I was on the hunt off and on, you know, for years, but I've always wanted one. I've wanted one for about 17 years finally got around to getting the right mixture had money on hand everything worked out great uh, I'd mentioned that you know they wanted 28 for it I picked it up for 27 there was tons of interest on it uh, I just happened to be the first one and people were actually calling them and telling them you know they'll take it sight unseen full purchase price but I was there I told them I was standing in front of him with cash and so I got a hundred bucks off, you know, so that paid for some of these items, I guess. So, all in all, I'm pleased with it. Thanks for watching, and good luck.